Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to root your one plus three. So if you're wondering what rooting is, it's essentially gaining root permissions or root access on a device. This is basically administrative privileges that allow us to flash anything we want, change the entire operating system, remove the bloatware, whatever we want to do. So this is why most people root is to either flash a new version of Android or to remove some of the software on the phone that they're not really happy with. Uh, there's also really cool custom ROMs, which are just versions of Android that people have packaged together that you can download and flash that have been optimized for better performance, have all these cool icon packs and different customizations that you wouldn't normally find in a phone uh, and are just kind of fun to uh, test out and see which one suits you the best. So without further ado, here's how to do it on your OnePlus 3. Okay, so before you begin, this will erase your phone. So please back up anything that you need. I'm also gonna be using Windows for this tutorial, but if you are familiar and you have a Mac, you can just do the Mac ADB setup below uh, when I get to it. And then just make sure you put a dot slash in front of each command and you're doing it in terminal instead of command prompt. Okay, then on the phone, we're gonna go to settings. Scroll all the way down to about phone. Scroll down to build number, which is at the very bottom. Keep tapping that until it tells you you are a developer. We can then hit back. Tap on the new developer options. And we're going to turn on OEM unlocking. Put in your pin if you have one. And also scroll down and turn on USB debugging as well. Once you've done that, then you can click on this link below. Uh, it's a link underneath the video will then bring you to this page and then you can click this link here. Uh, and then you're going to follow that tutorial. It's another video. It takes about five minutes. It's really quick, uh, but it's the fastest way to set up ADB. Now ADB is Android Debug Bridge, which is what we're going to use to talk to the phone from our computer. Once you've done that, again, it's really quick. We're going to plug the phone in via USB. It's also a good idea to remove your pin codes or any security just for safety reasons uh, so it doesn't mess anything up. After we do that, we can hold down shift on our keyboard and right click any blank space inside this new ADB folder that's in our C drive, which should have appeared after you did my tutorial on setting up ADB. Now when you hold shift and right click, you'll see open command window here. You can click that and it'll give us a command prompt inside that folder. In there, we're then gonna type ADB devices, hit enter, uh, and you see that it says a serial number and unauthorized. To fix that, you'll notice that this has popped up on the phone. So we're going to tap always allow and click okay. After that, we'll be able to type ADB devices again and hit enter, and now it should show us a serial number and just say the word device, meaning that it can speak to it. Now we're gonna type ADB reboot bootloader to turn it into bootloader mode or fast boot mode. The device will reboot when you do this. Wait for it to do that. And once it does, we're gonna type in fast boot, OEM, unlock, and hit enter. And then on the phone, we'll see this. We want to select yes by using the volume buttons and power to select it. And at this point, the phone will actually reboot and it will also erase everything on the phone. When that happens, you're gonna have to go through the setup process again on your phone. After that, we're going to need to re-enable ADB uh, debugging. So we're gonna pull this down, go into settings again, scroll all the way down to about phone, scroll all the way down to build number and keep tapping it until it tells you you're a developer. We can hit back, then hit developer options. OEM unlocking is gonna be on because we are OEM unlocked now that we've unlocked the bootloader, but USB debugging, we need to turn back on and hit OK. Then when this pops up, because my, I never unplugged my phone, it's already trying to talk to the computer, I'm gonna hit always allow and click OK. So now back on the computer, we're gonna download a custom recovery image, which is what's gonna allow us to flash ROMs later on if you're interested, um, but also flash our super SU file to gain root access right now. So we're gonna actually download both of those. Click this link here beneath the video to download that. And same thing for super SU. Now, if your computer automatically downloaded to the downloads folder like mine did, we're gonna move them because we want them in the same ADB folder that ADB and Fastboot are. After those files are in there, we can actually push the SuperSU file to our phone easily from ADB. 
uh, using the command prompt that we shouldn't have closed. If you did, you can just reopen it the same way that you opened it before. So adb push super su dot zip slash sd card slash super su dot zip. And I know it says sd card. It's just called that internally. It's actually going to put it on the internal storage. And there we go. It says it did it. Then we can do adb reboot bootloader, hit enter, wait for the device to reboot into fastboot mode. Once that happens, we can type fastboot flash recovery base recovery dot img and hit enter. After that, we're gonna unplug the device from the computer, use the down volume button to select recovery mode at the top and hit power. Eventually you'll get into recovery mode uh, and it's gonna tell you keep system read only and you're gonna say no by swiping to allow modifications at the bottom. Then you'll be presented with your custom recovery. So the very first thing we are going to do is tap backup and swipe to back up. And this will make a backup of everything on our phone, just in case. Once that's done, we can hit back, back again. And now we're gonna tap install, scroll down until we see super SU, which should be in this just internal storage root folder because that's where we put it by saying SD card. Tap that and swipe to confirm. And once that's done, we can tap reboot system. Once it reboots, you should see super SU in your app drawer, but we're gonna download root checker by going to the Play Store and then opening it and tapping verify root. You'll see a super user request pop up, hit grant, and it'll tell you that you have root access. There you go, you're rooted, have a custom recovery, and can go on to do any number of things, including flashing custom ROMs, which are a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to do any of that, though, click the link below to be taken to my site where I have a really cool ROM repository filled with ROMs for a lot of devices, and you can sort by device and other uh, facets as well. I also have a video on how exactly to flash a ROM, regardless of the device you have. So check that out. Uh, Otherwise, uh, let me know if you guys have any issues with this tutorial. Don't write them in the comments on YouTube, though. They don't notify me when you do that. So please click the link below to be taken to the article on my site where you can comment there, and I'll try to help you as best I can. If you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.